Well, good afternoon everybody. It's uh, Saturday the 26th of November and I'm sitting in the kitchen of our house, our new home, and I'm absolutely surrounded by boxes. Loads and loads of boxes because this morning our new kitchen was delivered. Having got the rest of the house sorted out and decorated and carpets down, the only thing that remained to be done was the kitchen. And so we took the plunge and started work. And so it's not particularly a, a salubrious studio in which to record a message, but here we are. As you know, we moved in in uh, March, at least we got the house at the beginning of February, moved in March and we've done everything so far. So here we are. Uh, this, is, this kitchen has been quite a job. I've done the ceiling, uh, replaced the wiring and put in down lights instead of the single strip light that was there done the floor, laid a screed, repaired it, uh, for, and yesterday I put down the new flooring and that's now covered with boxes and in a, over the next couple of weeks I hope to get all those boxes unpacked and unwrapped and into place and then Patricia can have her much deserved kitchen again. I was talking to somebody the other day and they said they, how much they enjoyed watching the videos I've been recording and they also said that they hadn't seen one for a while and that caused me to stop because uh, it's a, one of those things that when I tend to get wrapped up with a project uh, I'm a bit blinkered and, it, and that becomes my focus and other things tend to go by the by. So here we are, there's a little bit of a catch up. I will be putting, adding on to the end of this video, uh, a video of the, of the room as it was uh, the other day before the flooring went down and uh, I've actually even put a, a video, a short video on of the room as it is now, stuffed full of boxes. The weather of course is getting colder, we've had a lot of rain recently, fortunately we're not flooded and uh, what has been a great blessing is the wood burning stove in our front room because that keeps us lovely and cosy. At a time when electricity bills are really really high it's, um, it's, it's been very very useful the heat from the stove warms the front room and, and then the heat, if you open the door, goes up the stairs and warms the upstairs. It doesn't warm the back of the house unfortunately, but it does do a really good job so we're really really grateful for that. A lot of people of course are struggling with uh, bills, with electricity bills and food bills and all sorts of other things and we count ourselves very fortunate that we can get by. We're not well off but we can get by with what we've got. Tuppence, of course, has settled in nicely. Uh, she really likes that fire in the front room. The fire which she supervises it being laid. She sits on the settee and watches the flames start. And then she spends spend the whole of the evening in there relaxing in the warmth. In fact, it gets so warm in there that she's taken to staying in there overnight and not coming upstairs relaxing, enjoying the warmth of the fire. And the, the heat stays in there. It's probably one of the warmest rooms in the house at the moment. So here we are, a quick update of, of what we're doing. I should also add that I've now got planned permission for the extension, which I'll be beginning next year. I've also got conditional building regulation approval. That is conditional on getting uh, the calculations done for the steelwork. That seems to be a bit of a problem at the moment because nobody seems to want to, to do such, such a small job. So at least I know that come the spring I can make a start and that would be quite a challenge. I'll be 73 years old, I still feel fit and able and uh, although I'm beginning to feel my age I still feel I've got one major project in me. And of course I won't do it all myself if possible I will subcontract such things as the bricklaying to others and, and, uh, and hopefully get the job finished by the end of the year. So thank you for listening and I pray that uh, you will I'll be able to soon have uh, another update showing the inside of the kitchen finished and that would be really good. So until then, goodbye and thank you for watching. Here we are in the hall at the moment. Uh, bit cluttered. That big cardboard box contains the cooker hood 
which is for our new kitchen. Then there is ducting for the extractor fan. Uh, the flooring is stacked up and ready to go in. And uh, we're pretty much tight, tight at the moment. As you can see, the, the door is off, ready. Uh, pasting table is, is standing by. And I've been working in the kitchen for the last few weeks. Here is the kitchen. May not look very much at the moment, but I can tell you it's the result of a lot of hard work. For start, the, the ceiling was replaced, uh, rewired for down lights. These are very nice. And uh, the same ones actually we used at Tavley, at Holy St. Paul's at Holy Tavley. They'll light up and give the room a nice glow. Then I have worked on the lighting, the, the electrics. All the electrics have been put into the wall where they were on the surface before. This has meant a lot of channeling and dirt and dust and, and plastering. And some connections yet to be made. I've just got one double socket there hooked up at the moment with our repeater for the internet and a light. This is our new window, which is two bricks lower, it is two bricks deeper than the original, so that we can actually look out of it now without straining our necks. Plumbing done. The new range cooker is sitting there. I managed to get a couple of casters for it uh, so we can run it back and forth, so that's been very mobile. That will go in towards the end. I've just been stripping off the walls and getting the last of the old wallpaper off. And uh, the last few days have been taken up with doing the floor. The floor has been um, stripped off. It was uh, some, some plywood sheets uh, screwed down to the floor and covered with uh, just the uh, linoleum type finish. That's been stripped off and a new um, self loving screen put down. I've got the underlay and the flooring to go down. And on Saturday, on Saturday, the big day, our new kitchen units arrive and uh, they'll be, I'll be spending probably the next few weeks putting them in. And then, at long last, Patricia will have a new kitchen and this phase of the work in the house will be finished. And that would be great to have it done for Christmas. That's the idea, uh, that's the plan. So, we are now well in and well settled in and uh, all I can say is I'll post another video later on when the work's going on. Okay, thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye. As I said, uh, I'll give you a quick walk around the kitchen with all the boxes stacked up. Um, lots of them are going to have to be moved around to do painting. It's um, quite daunting in a way, but I shall do it bit by bit. There's our new fridge freezer which will be integrated in the wall unit. Floor of course is down, it's very nice actually. Vinyl plank floor. Uh, not everything is in this room, this was still one, one box short. It was not in the delivery. So I've chased that up and that's going to come on the 2nd of December. Outside here in the hall we do now have the, the worktop and some trims and uh, I'm sure we'll both be glad about when they're all out of there and installed. So that is just a quick update uh, to let you know what the place looks like at the moment. It won't look like this for long.